Hey, it's David Pingree. Welcome to another segment of Racer X's Dialed In. We're here today on the 2016 RMZ 450. And so for those of you who have one of these or looking to buy one of these, we've got some tips and suggestions today for getting the most out of your new motorcycle. Uh, let's start today, first things, with the couplers. Uh, the standard Suzuki comes with three different couplers, a lean, standard, and rich setting. And uh, typically for faster riders, advanced riders, you want to go with that lean setting. Even if you're a novice rider who you're pretty comfortable and you're going to run the stock exhaust, try the lean coupler. Uh, it sharpens everything up a little bit. Uh, it's going to make the bike just a little more crisp everywhere. Uh, if you go to an aftermarket exhaust, that'll make the thing flow a little bit better. Go back to the standard, uh, standard coupler. That's going to just uh, kind of match the, the, the mapping will match the exhaust flow a little bit better. And the rich setting, uh, really the only time you're going to want to go to that is if you are in a really, really low traction scenario. Uh, that's going to just sort of soften up the way the power comes on and things like that. So uh, if you're going to run the stock exhaust, lean coupler. If you're going to go to an aftermarket, go to, stay with the standard coupler. All right, that's our, that's our recommendations for that. As far as the suspension goes on the Suzuki, uh, this is, it's very, very critical to get your sag set right. Uh, this bike is notoriously very quick turning, which is an awesome characteristic, but it can, if the setup's off, get a little twitchy at speed. So uh, what, what we recommend doing is going to uh, make sure your sag is around 105 millimeters, 104 to 106, but if you can really try to hit that 105 mark, uh, and double check it every every month or two, you know, to make sure that it's staying within that range because they can come out of adjustment. That's just going to make sure that the balance is right. Uh, you start to get this thing high in the rear, and it'll really get twitchy on you. So pay attention to that sag. All right. So what Suzuki has stock, what should come standard from your dealer, is 174 pounds on your inner chamber, 174 pounds on your balance, and zero in your neg in your outer chamber. Okay, that's the standard setting. It's a good place to, to start if you want to try. Uh, something that we recommend, something we found is uh, 188 to 191 in both of those chambers, uh, you know, keeping your outer chamber at zero, but your inner and your balance uh, somewhere between, you know, that 188 to 191 range. Um, and again, you're going to have to adjust that based on how stiff or how soft of a feel you like in the fork. Uh, but that's a, a, a little window you can play with, and uh, if you can find what you like in there, and you gotta, you got to continue to check it. That's one thing about these forks. Um, one thing I will recommend is get on your phone and get the Showa SFF Air app. There's a phone app that's now available that will show you in uh, some sliding graph charts what happens when you add air to each chamber and where that stiffens up the stroke and it really if you're a visual learning person it shows you what's happening when you add air to each chamber so you have a better understanding of what you're doing it's just not arbitrary numbers um, I've got the app it's it's really cool it just came out so even if you don't have a Suzuki if you've got to show a triple air chamber fork get that app do yourself a favor another thing you can do with the Suzuki uh, if you're having issues with head shake you feel like that it's just a little nervous at speed uh, is tighten up your head, your head nut up here. Um, I'm not one that likes it to keep it very tight, but it's it's been recommended by a lot of people to try to keep it to where it doesn't fall. You know, like if you notice this thing doesn't just fall over. Um, keep enough tension on it that it, it won't do that on its own, and that'll help with a little bit of that head shake. You'd be surprised how much of a difference just tightening that up a little bit will make if it's really, really loose. A couple of little personal preferences for me on this bike. Um, I tend to cut the bars down. Uh, I take a half an inch off either side uh, from the stock bars or if I buy a set of Renthals or whatever, I take a half inch off either side. And again, it goes back to that real sensitive, nervous front end feeling. The wider your bars are, the, the, the easier it is to have that small movement that'll do more with the front end. So you bring the bars in a touch, uh, it calms everything, quiets it down a little bit at speed. And uh, for me, having shorter arms too, it allows me to get back off the bike further. I feel like I'm just in a more comfortable position. So if that's something you're feeling, maybe you could try that as well. Uh, I always get rid of these stock grips. These things are very tough on your hands. Uh, come, you know, come in with whatever, whatever kind of grip you like. Just something a little bit uh, softer and uh, more suitable to your hands. Uh, and past that, this bike doesn't need a whole lot. You know, the, uh, the whole chassis works really well. It's one of the best cornering bikes. Uh, there's not a lot that needs to be done to this motorcycle. And one last thing you can try on the Suzuki, if you still are feeling like the front end is just unstable at speed, you can't get comfortable, you get in head shake or whatever, is try sliding your, 
your uh, forks down in the triple clamps a little bit. Uh, just a couple of millimeters to that first line will actually make a big difference in the stability at high speeds. Uh, you are going to lose a little bit of, of steering, tight steering, but this thing turns so well, it's probably going to be marginal. You're not even going to notice it. So if that's the problem you're having, give that a try as well. Uh, you'll see the initial hash mark on the fork here. Just drop down to where it's flush with the triple clamps, and it might be something that you like. Uh, past that, I love this motorcycle. I've been riding this thing a lot the last couple of years, and I uh, hope to do so again this year. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you get your 2016 RMZ dialed in.